Rosie for her welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons. Today, we are continuing our island adventure. Of course, last episode we got started with it, so definitely check that out. There are so many things on our to-do list. We gotta earn up some miles for Nook Miles. We have to make our town pretty. We still have so much more to learn, and that's one of the first big goals I have for today's episode, is we're going to learn how to do all of the DIY stuff, because in this game, you get to build your own tools and materials, and that's gonna be awesome. So let's talk to Mr. Nook over here. He should be offering a free DIY session. Was he holding a can of soda? That's so cute. Ah, Zebra, hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. What should I do about that workshop, about my moving fees? What should I do? Yes, yes, that is the question. Ah, I've got just the thing. You have yet to attend one of my DIY workshops, hmm. Once you get going with DIY, you'll really open some new doors. I dare say it's crucial to island life. And of course, the workshops is completely free. No hidden fees, I do recommend it highly. I like how he has to clarify that there's no hidden fees because most of the things he does have hidden fees. What would you like to talk to me about? So how do I do that? Do I just do about that workshop? Yes, yes, the DIY, DIY workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY recipes. I think it will be quite useful for island life, hmm? So shall I put you down for the next available session? I'd love to. Also, the other question was what does DIY mean? DIY stands for do it yourself. So now you know. Uh, yes, yes, that's the island spirit. I happen to be free right this very moment. So let's get started. Perfect, yeah, it didn't seem like he was up to too much. Welcome to my DIY workshop. Oh, I suppose workshop is overselling it a bit, hmm? When you see how simple it is to DIY or do it yourself, you'll understand what I mean. The basic idea is to gather materials, follow a recipe, and then craft using a workbench like this one. So today, we'll be constructing a fishing rod using common materials that you can find anywhere, yes? For this particular recipe, we require a mere five tree branches. It is admittedly a little flimsy. Now then, come see me once you've collected the materials, hmm? Okay, so five tree branches, uh, we have four. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and get one more, and we'll be able to build whatever he wanted us to build. I already forgot. I would focus more on the tree branches situation. Um, oh, got it. So that's all I need, I'm coming back. You'll be impressed by how fast that was, I hope. But yeah, it's really cool that, because you couldn't do this in the, the past games. You couldn't make your own materials this way. This is a new thing with New Horizons. Ah, Zebra found the necessary materials, hmm? Well then, let's get started crafting a fishing rod. Yes, yes, okay, fishing rod's gonna be great. To begin, just select a project from the workbench and get started. Go ahead, give it a try. So, here we go. Flimsy fishing rod. It will require five tree branches. Let's craft it. Craft the flimsy fishing rod, you bet. So with this, of course, we can fish. Get some different fishes. Uh, I made a flimsy fishing rod. Also, the plural of fish is not fishes, it's just fish. <laughs> I just, I don't know, didn't realize when I was saying it. Yes, that was perfect. As you can see, crafting is is quite simple, provided you have the corrected re correct recipes, hmm? And that concludes my free DIY workshop. Oh, there's just one last thing. I have a few common DIY recipes for you, free of charge, naturally. Well, actually not that naturally. <laughs> I'll just need to send them to your Nook phone. Would you mind opening it up? Yeah, sure, no problem. Ooh, look at that. Whoa, DIY recipe, so we got a new app. Splendid, thank you. The DIY app is now installed on your phone and ready for you to use any time. And the flimsy fishing rod you just crafted is yours to keep. It may not last forever, but it should serve you well for a little while at least. Oh, interesting, so they have durabilities now. Speaking of fishing, I am no master angler, but perhaps I can give you a few tips, hmm? In my experience, you should aim in front of the shadow of a fish when you cast your line. Yes, yes. I would love to see anything you manage to catch. I'm quite curious about the local fauna. So honestly, that's very exciting to me because, um, should I craft something using Tom Nook's workbench? What's really exciting to me is that fishing is one of my favorite things to do in Animal Crossing games. It's very relaxing, just very enjoyable. Let's craft. I wanna see if there's any other thing. So there is a campfire and a flimsy net. So a campfire would require three tree branches and a flimsy net would require five. So we'll get to that soon enough. So it looks like if we have made it, I guess we will get a check mark. It'd be cool to craft everything over time, you know, just be able to get that completion. That sounds fun. So in the meantime, I want to pull up our little Nook phone. Wrong button, 
right here. Uh, let's check out the Nook Miles first. We got Island Togetherness. So we talked to everybody uh, for today. One of the goals of Nooking, of course, was to talk to everybody. Um, so we've got it once, but we can keep at that and get more miles. That's very cool. So we're already up to 1,100 miles. So we'll have to keep doing that each day until we do it 10 times. Well, that's all we can do for right now, though. Um, and I don't think there was anything else completed. That's fine. So let's check out our new app, DIY Recipes. Check this app for info on the DIY recipes you've collected. You can also register frequently crafted items as favorites, so make good use of it while you DIY. Interesting. So what I think I can do as well, if I go back to my inventory, we have the simple DIY workbench. If I learn this now, huh, okay, sweet. I learned a DIY recipe for a simple DIY workbench. And I guess that means I can do that anywhere. Didn't, yeah, here we go, Pashmina sent me a leaf umbrella. Let's go ahead and learn that as well. Huh, okay, sweet, I learned a DIY recipe for a leaf umbrella. And it's as simple as that. So let's see real quickly. If we go back to the Nook Miles or the DIY recipes, here they are. So we've got our leaf umbrella that requires, we have all the materials for that one, awesome. And this requires hardwood and an iron nugget. So we are a little far off from making that one. But this will be fun. Let's collect eight tree branches and we'll go back to the bench. So the crafting's really fun. It really makes it so that collecting everything is super worth it. And whatever it isn't worth it for, we can just sell those materials, like all these weeds. I don't wanna spend the entire episode picking up a bunch of weeds though. That wouldn't be the most interesting thing. Uh, but you know, just a couple of them. There we go, got a rock as well. That was our first rock. Maybe shake this. So lots of collecting is necessary in this game. And we'll make the most of that. Because it is very satisfying just to pick things up like that. Shake this one a little bit. So I guess that there are different types of fruit for different islands. I wonder what um, different amounts of fruit there are. If you got a different island fruit than oranges, let me know. I'd love to hear about it. So I'm not really seeing too many sticks at the moment. Maybe I should shake some of the trees then. There we go. I wanna be careful, I don't want anything mean falling out of the trees. I think that in previous games, like bees could attack you, which doesn't sound too fun. Got it. So I'm supposed to be collecting eight in total. So I have a while to go. Huh. There's Pashmina again. Looks like she's collecting six, too. I don't know what she's building. Whoa, there we go, that was a bunch of them. So let's collect all this. And how's Pashmina doing? You again, is this island not big enough for the both of us? Do we need a bigger island, kidders? Let's talk. I kind of moved here on a whim, and I'm not sure I brought enough bells with me, kidders. Like, you hear deserted island and think you're not even gonna need money. Yeah, I need a plan. Hmm. I heard I can get Bells selling fruits and weeds and stuff to Timmy. If I do that, maybe I'll be all right. Yeah, I'm, I'm sort of working on the same thing. Are there any sticks maybe over this way? Maybe I've just collected too many in a shorter period of time. Okay, here's one right in front of Biff's house. Oh yeah, there's definitely a couple more over this way then. So right now it seems to be pretty basic materials, fruit, rocks. We'll go fishing soon. Well, once we sort of make some more stuff, I'll put it into action. We'll start using some of it. That'll be fun. And we don't really have too much of a way to cross the river right now. Oh, there's a butterfly. If we had a net, we could get you. I can't get you by hand though. <laughs> All right. I don't know, I, I should have checked. I think that was eight in total for the sticks. But we'll find out. Yes, okay, it was actually 11. We might have already had a few. So, using Tom Nook's workbench, it's a very fancy workbench. We can definitely craft a couple of things. First off, the flimsy net. Let's craft it, yep. I wonder if we'll like be able to improve our skill at crafting. Maybe, maybe not. I made a flimsy net. Keep crafting. We'll also make a campfire. I don't know if we'll need a campfire, but I just sort of wanna make everything we have the option to make so that we have it all. Yeah, I made a campfire. Keep crafting. Next up, and finally, we have the leaf umbrella. We just need a clump of weeds, let's do it. I don't mind selling the rest of the weeds because I think that we'll be able to collect more quite easily. I made a leaf umbrella. But maybe I'll hold on to them just for now. So yeah, with that being said, very happy that we can uh, sort of move forward with some stuff. We'll, we'll use the fishing rod a little bit. And we'll also, let's equip the leaf umbrella. Notice the campfire. 
I don't think we'll need that too much right now. So I can hold the umbrella. Oh, look at how fancy that is. <laughs> We're very natural right now. I love it. So. Hold the fishing rod. Oh yeah, let's take a look at the bulletin board. Oh, there's some new stuff here. So island bulletin board. We'll use this board to post important notices and other useful bits of information for everyone. Yes, yes. Okay. And then also, new. Island residents and visitors alike should feel free to use this bulletin board to communicate with each other, celebrate special events, and more. That's cool. Can we make our own? Oh, we could. I don't know if I need to right now, but that's nice to know. Um. So yeah, let's take a look at fishing in this game. And like I said, this is probably one of my favorite things to do in Animal Crossing is just fishing. Uh, it's very relaxing. It's always fun to see which fish you end up getting. You have to have some patience, but also a little bit of skill to be able to time it correctly. So here's a big one. Oh. Let's see what our first ever little fishy will be. Oh no, come on, come on, go over here. If you pull it out at the wrong time, they're gonna get scared and, and swim away. I don't see it right now. Oh, 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 here we go, here we go, we got it, we got it! Yeah, we got something! Yes! I got a yellow perch! Those yellow birds have to sit somewhere. <laughs> Interesting. So that's very cool. So we got our first little river fish, it was a yellow perch. And we can keep on keeping on here. I want to not sell any of the things I catch. This is a tiny one. And as soon as the little bob goes, oh no, oh, I got too excited. Well, as soon as that goes under the water, you press A to pull them up, and that's how you get the fish. You gotta tap it a bunch. Oh. So you just gotta wait and be patient. It'll also make a very distinct sound, so you can listen for that too. And we get a tiny little uh, pale chub. The name seems a bit judgy. Well, there we go. So we'll just try to ca capture a couple fish. I'm sort of curious to see how many fish we can catch before this loses its durability. Oh, here we go. Whoa, a rock? How is the rock swimming around? I caught a stone. Now it's all mine. We're all mineral, I get it. All right, well, once we get to the end of the river, we can also do some beach fishing. Of course, there's different types of fish that might swim in the river than they would the beach, you know, fresh water and salt water. I don't know if this if, if this is gonna work. Oh, did I scare him? I didn't, okay, good. Whoop, try again. Oh, here he goes. Oh, I almost was too late for that. Okay, so what do we got here? Yes, I caught a bluegill. Do you think it calls me pink lung? I would hope not. I mean, maybe though. Anyways, oh, look at this, we got a little seashell. No, pick it up, there we go, wrong button. So that was a sand dollar, they call it, very cool. No, no, come on. I'm just trying my best to angle this correctly. Will he see that? Maybe not from that angle, let's change it up a little bit. Angling is key, you wanna make sure they notice it, like that. You can see you sort of twitched a little bit. There we go, come on, come on. Whoa! Yes, I caught a squid. I had an inkling I might. Uh-huh. Oh, there's a butterfly. How do we switch? Yeah, we can use the left and right, Um. there we go. Well, left and right buttons to just switch really quickly. Yes, I caught a paper kite butterfly. Do I read it, fly it, or spread it on toast? Um, none of those things. Anyways, that's our first butterfly, very cool. Is there any other things? We have the umbrella, and that's it. That's cool. So I just definitely wanna do a lot of fishing today. I do not plan on selling any of these unless I get duplicates, and why that is, is I hope, as with other Animal Crossing games, that there will be a, a museum that we can start donating to sooner or later, and that way, we can put all those in the museum. There'll be like a little aquarium. It's always cool seeing all the fish you caught swimming around. So that's why we wanna keep one of everything and not sell it. Anyways, after collecting a couple more weeds, let's run down this way. Oh, there's little uh, Tommy. Feel free to chat with me anytime there's anything you need to help uh, you, anything you need to help you get used to living here. Hmm, you know, shaking trees or cutting them down can sometimes knock a loose wasp nest. Oh boy, so be careful. Your face might get all puffy if you get stung while tangling with angry wasps. I've even heard of puffy-faced folks getting re-stung and then fainting, so don't press your luck. In resident services, we sell medicine that'll help 
with insect stings and bites and such. If I were you, I think I'd carry some with me at all times. That sounds like a good idea. Don't wanna get too stung, that might hurt. Anyways, hopefully there's no wasps in the ocean. Um, we'll just keep fishing. So honestly, not too many ocean fishes at, at the moment, but we got this guy. Maybe this is all we need. Ah, oh, I got too excited. You gotta sort of learn how to go with the flow with it. You don't wanna rush it. Sometimes the fish that take the longest are the best, so no need to go any faster than that. I'm not seeing too much more though. Can I fish in this tiny little, this tiny little triangle? I don't think so. Oh well. But yeah, oddly enough, I'm not seeing too many more fish. We're still sort of stuck on this side. There's no way to get across. There's no bridges, which is weird. I don't know what to do about that, but I'm sure at some point the game will tell us what we can do. Oh, there's little holes over there. If we if we had a shovel and we could get over there, we could dig those up and sometimes find fossils. That's always really cool. So it looks like that's like all the fish I can find at the moment. Hmm. I'll go around this one more time. But then after that, maybe I can, oh, here we go, here we go. I can at least catch you. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. Yes. I caught a tiger butterfly. I've earned my stripes. So have we. No no better island to earn your stripes than this one. So let's go ahead and catch this little guy. Oh. Right in front of him. Can't deny that one. Whoa, whoa, we got it right away. He's a go-getter. Oh, look at how cute he is. Yes. I caught a loach. It's looking at me with reproach. I mean, I sort of would too if you caught me out of the water when I was trying to take a swim. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Same place as last time. I wonder if it'll be another squid. If we do get a duplicate, I don't mind selling it. Oh, I got excited again. You just gotta really get into that flow of it. I'll get better at it in time, so I'm not too worried. I do see a couple more butterflies though. We don't want to sprint near them because that'll definitely scare them off. I think it's another tiger butterfly. Yep. And this might have been a duplicate of the one we already caught, but maybe not. It's very yellow. Yes, yellow butterfly. Shouldn't all butterflies be yellow? But I can't carry anything else. Should I swap it for something? Oh yes, you should. Uh, man, our inventory filled up so quickly. That's a shame. Um, I think we'll switch it out for the the the, the branches. No, maybe the campfire. Do I really need the campfire right now? I'll just leave that on the floor. We'll pick it up later. <laughs> If somebody else takes it, it's not a big deal. Yeah, I wonder what I can do then, in terms of that. Maybe we should talk to Tom Nook again and see if he has any ideas on what we should do next. Because I have a couple of ideas as well, but it's weird, I wasn't expecting them to close off certain parts of the island, which definitely changes my plans up a bit. Oh, he's, he's holding a book now. Ah, Zebra, hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. What should I do? Yes, yes, that is the question. Well, the island is a diverse habitat for many interesting creatures, you know, other than us. Oh, yes, yes, you can catch all kinds of insects and fish if you practice with your net and fishing rod. I'd be most curious to see any creatures that you do catch. Hmm, by all means, bring them to me. I have some. I found a creature. Oh, splendid. Let's have a look, shall we? So let's give him one of my duplicates just in case he like wants to keep it or something, I don't know. Um, so here's a tiger butterfly. Oh, what a catch. I do believe this is a tiger butterfly. Hmm, if this island can support a tiger butterfly, why, who knows what other fantastic creatures we might find living here. Zebra, I have an idea. An old friend of mine runs a museum, and I'd love to send it to him for a closer look. Would you be okay with that? Okay, yeah, as long as it gets sent to the museum. Thank you, I promise that I'll take extra good care of your tiger butterfly. I hope we get to see the museum. Oh, that reminds me. This is no way, this is no way tied to your generous donation just now, but I have a useful app to show you. Ooh. So we're getting a new app on our phone. Critterpedia, oh, I like it already. I sent you the Critterpedia app. It's a terrific resource for an aspiring island researcher such as yourself. With this one app, you'll get all of the important details about the bugs and fish you catch, yes, yes.
I do hope you'll continue to fill it up with your discoveries and share them with me too. I'm sure I'll be able to come up with some kind of additional reward, hmm? Okay. What would you like to talk to me about? So, I found a couple of creatures I would love to give you. Oh, another creature? Well, let's have a look at the one at, at that one as well. So, can I select more than one? No. Oh, I'm gonna have to do it all one at a time. Oh, they're little baggies. Oh, what a catch. I do believe this is a yellow perch. Would you mind if I sent this magnificent creature to uh, along to my museum cur curating friend as well? Okay. Thank you. I promise that I'd, I'll take extra good care of the yellow perch. So we just have to do this. Or have you been taking advantage of my DIY workbench recently? I have. That's great. Come to think of it, I've seen you tinkering around a bit over there. Keep up the good work. That reminds me. I've been meaning to share more DIY recipes with you. Mind turning on your phone? Okay, so that means that we'll get more stuff unlocked. So yeah, this seems like there's lots to do, as long as we keep making progress, keep talking to Tom Nook. I just sent you a number of DIY recipes that require wood, along with the recipe to craft an ax. Ooh, yes, yes, I think an ax would come in quite useful on this island. Just because because so many of other things are made of wood, hmm? I hope you'll keep bringing me new discoveries to examine. It's all part of the island experience, yes, yes. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. So, I wanna keep I'm gonna keep delivering creatures to you, buddy. Until he gets tired of me doing it. He's like, okay, no more. Um, I've already given him the tiger butterfly, so I am curious to see what happens if I try again. You found another tiger butterfly, I see. I'm still in position of the last one you find, so I'll give this one back to you. Okay, so that's what I wanna make sure, or sell it. And if you find something new, do you please share it with me, hmm? So that's why I wanted to make sure that I don't accidentally give him two things, two of the same things, and he just starts taking all my stuff when I could have sold it. So I found a creature, but it's not a tiger butterfly. I wish I could choose multiple things at once, but you can't. So let's do the yellow butterfly. Yep. Yep. So we'll start speeding through this text since we already know uh, what he says. I have a proper reward for you this time. Ooh, we get rewards for this? I've given you a red windflower bag. Just a little sampling of a product we sell. Go ahead and do some planting, and after a few days, you'll have a beautiful blooming flowers. Anyway, give it a whirl, and if you enjoy gardening, stop by and buy more. So I think we'll need a um, watering can. I hope you'll keep bringing me new discoveries to examine. It's all part of the island experience. Yes, yes. Indeed, I will. So, let's talk to you again. Keep delivering things, because it's definitely paying off. Oh no, wrong thing. Um. Yeah, I know, I already am. Sorry. I found a creature. So with this one, what do we got? I wanna give him the pale chub. Okay, so I just keep you know giving him things and I'll just show when he mentions something. Oh, remember the flower samples I gave you? I forgot to mention something. The flowers that grow will be very strong. They'll spring up even if you just plant them and forget them. Oh, but if you water them each day, that's where the magic happens. Watering opens up the possibility of propagate, propagating and crossbreeding your flowers to develop rare colors. Interesting. Oh, a new app? And how might you water them, you ask? Well, I've just sent you the DIY recipe for a watering can. My accountant warned me about giving this sort of thing away for free, but you've collected creatures from your zebra, so this is just part of island give and take. I hope you'll keep bringing me new discoveries to examine. It's all part of the island experience. Yes, yes. Okay, so let's find or give him another creature we found. And as you can see, I still have quite a few fish to get through. <laughs> Yep, that's the bluegill. I, I love fishing in this game. It's so satisfying to find all the new stuff, you know? Anything new for us? Oh, hey! Hold the phone, someone's calling. Blathers, is that you? Oh, what a splendid timing. Yes, yes, do you remember the adventure we discussed? Well, it's come to fruition. I'm currently stationed on an island that we've decided to call Stripe. Yes, yes, the local fauna are as abundant as expected, just as I told you. Mm-hmm. How many precisely do you, you ask? Well, there's no way of knowing just yet, but I have received, let's see, five outstanding specimens so far. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. What, seriously? Well, that is very exciting. Oh, but you'll have to excuse me, I'm with a customer right now. So Blathers, I think, is the owner of the museum. I'm so sorry to keep you waiting. 
That was my friend Blathers, the one who creates a museum. Believe it or not, he's going to come to our island to help us identify and preserve the local creatures. Ah, but I could use your help, Zebra. Since you've done so much scouting and collecting already, would you mind, would you be able to help find a spot for Blathers? We'll need a good sized space to really build out a world class museum, so do keep that in mind. This is exciting, it's all coming together, yes, yes. Well, hopefully we can set that up after we set up the uh, being able to cross the river. So I would like to keep donating because obviously this is opening up a lot of oppor, wait, no, wait. That's not what I want to do. Well, I, you owe 5,000 miles, so let's talk when you've had a chance to earn a few more miles, hmm? Uh, but there's no need to rush, no, no. Enjoy your island life and save up those miles. So can I not donate anymore right now? Yeah, I cannot donate anymore. So in the meantime, yep, let's talk to you and sell some stuff. Welcome, Zebra. How can I help you today? I would sell. Of course, what exactly are you offering? Just one thing, and that is going to be the tiger butterfly. Confirm. Maybe I should sell the seashells as well. I don't think those can go into a, maybe they can though, I don't know. A tiger butterfly, sure. How about I offer you 240 bells? Sold. Thank you, please come again. Maybe I'll sell the seashells, because I don't think the sand dollar was especially rare or anything. Um, so where was that? That was right here. Giant, wait, when did I get a giant clam? I guess I got a giant clam at some point. Well, well, we'll sell this stuff. Look at all the fine things you've brought in today. Allow me just a moment to run the numbers. And done. I can buy this from you for, for a total of 1,140 bells. Sounds great to me. Thank you, please come again. So now we have a little bit more inventory space, which is nice. And we'll check out our Nook Miles. Sure, we got something done. Yep, have a nice DIY. Nook Inc. will reward Nook Miles for the number of DIY recipes you've collected. Think about that, you're earning for learning. Yes, yes. So let's get our miles. Oh, so we've gotten 11 so far. You got Nook Miles, 300. So for every 10 that we get, we get a reward. Interesting. Anything else? Not looking like it. But I'm not done in there, hold on. I want to set up the Critterpedia, or at least take a look. Check this app for information on all of the bugs and fish you've caught. So as you can see, there is the paper kite butterfly. Uh, the seasonality is March and the different active hours. So there's a lot we can catch by playing at different times. That's good to keep in mind. We also have the yellow butterfly in March at around noon. Um, so that'll be really interesting to keep in mind. Same thing with the, these, these all have the same availability and different fish. Oh, okay, so the red outline is what we caught it in. But the yellow outline is the different times it could be called in throughout the year. So March, April, May, June, September, October. This is all year round. Very good to keep in mind. I mean, obviously we, I don't think we'll need too many more, but you know, it gives us an idea of maybe where other similar fish might be available. And that's why it's good to play the game throughout the entire year, because there might be certain things at certain times of the day or the year that you can find. Um, Oh wow, this is an interesting way of doing it. Um, so this is a squid, very cool. Anything else at the moment? Not looking like it. Oh, this is very pretty when it's like this. I like that. So, don't think there's too much more I need to do at the moment, except for, well actually no, what am I talking about? We still need to do the DIY recipes. I just get so sidetracked because of all the awesome things we can do. So yeah, let's take a look. We have a flimsy ax, flimsy watering can, bonfire, tiki torch, log, steaks, and a birdhouse. So I still can make iron nuggets, but I'm sure that, oh, we can get that campfire and turn it into a bonfire. The first thing I should definitely make then is the flimsy ax, followed by maybe a birdhouse. That'd be fun, but we need softwood. I have no clue how to get that. So for right now, all in on DIYing the basic materials. So watering can and uh, ax are the two things I'm worried about right now. Oh, new butterfly. No, wait, get back here. Please get back. There we go. Yes, I caught a common butterfly. They often flutter by, so I don't want to sell that one, but I might want to sell this one if it's not one I already have. I caught a yellow butterfly. Shouldn't all butterflies be yellow? So we do have that, so we can sell that. The only thing I'm worried about is our inventory space fills up so quickly, and I don't really know what we can do about that. There's another butterfly over this way. Ah, uh, a little too far on the other side of the river. I don't like this whole situation where I can't cross the river. It's really tough to deal with. 
Anyways. Oh, some money fell from the tree. Maybe it's a money tree. Not too much more is falling from it though. Wanna be careful, I don't wanna shake a tree too much. Oh, another money tree thing. There we go, it's only like 10 coins, but, or 10 bells. But still, that's better than nothing. Beggars can't be choosers after all. So let's see, I'm, I'm only looking for a little bit more in terms of, yeah, I think I only need one more stick. Once we get the ax, I'm sure it'll be much easier to knock over trees and get some sticks out of it as well. Okay, good enough. I'll grab it. Is there anything else I might wanna go for? Maybe another fish, aha. Oh, that's a big one too. I definitely wanna also pick up this seashell. Do I have enough inventory space? I do. Wait, oh, am I too far? Let's try that. Oh, it's right in front of you. This is a big guy too. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on! Wow, he's, he's as big as we are! Yes! I caught an olive flounder! That's not the pits! Wow, he's huge! I love him! Oh, look at this! We got a big fish and a tiny little fish. I keep on seeing the little water spurts out of the, uh, the sand there. It has me curious. Maybe if we get a shovel, we can find something under there. Yeah, you saw it right over there. I don't know what that's about. Come on, little guy. Ooh. Right away, he's a go-getter. Look at how small it is! What is this? Is it like a little snail? A sea butterfly, I've never heard of that before. Try not to confuse it for a sea moth. Ah! It like opened his mouth right at the last moment. That was creepy. I've never seen that before. You learn something new every day. Okay, so I might pick up this co-wire, co-wire, whatever it is. I'll probably end up selling that and whatever duplicate, because I think Yellow Butterfly, I think I've already donated that. And hopefully I can put some of this stuff down somewhere. I probably don't want to do that outside though. Anyways, we should have enough that I can make the ax. I can only hope, right? So we'll try that out, see how it goes. See, there's lots to do in this game, a whole bunch. Should I craft something using Tom Nook's workbench? Let's craft. So the one I wanna do right now is the flimsy ax. It requires five branches and one stone. So we'll make it. And, ta-da, I made a flimsy ax. All done for now. So I should be able to just equip that right away. Oh, I didn't wanna use it, I wanted to, okay. Let's, let's head outside. Probably a good idea not to be swinging around an ax indoors. Wanna to respect Tom Nook's little establishment. So, hold this item, there we go. So this is our ax, and if we go up to a tree, we can knock it down. One thing I might wanna do, whoa, that is a big butterfly. But that might be one we've already gotten, I can't tell. I can't see where it went, okay, here it is. Whoop. I don't think we've gotten this one. A tiger butterfly, no, no, we, we have. Yeah, I'll swap it with something. Oh, okay, so I had thought this whole time while we had these equipped, we they weren't taking up inventory slots. I was wrong. So you know what? Maybe I'll just let it free for now. Yeah, it can just be free. This is what I'm curious about. Can we put some of this stuff down at our house? That would make things a whole lot easier. Like, I don't need the umbrella right now. I can maybe put that down. I wish it was like a little chest we had. Um, for right now, place the item down on the floor. Just like that. Just move it over a little bit if we can. Anything else? Maybe I should place these red wind flowers. <laughs> I like the happy little radio music. And honestly, we should probably use our ax right here because this tree is sort of in the way anyways. We'll probably place a new tree at some point, but I would love to make our little local area here a bit more pretty. Wow, here we go. Oh, so there's all sorts of different wood popping out of this. Oh, does it not knock over? Yeah, it's not falling over. That's one tough tree. So in the meantime, plant one. Oh, do I not really get to choose too much about where they go? I don't like that so much, but maybe that's something we can work on later. 
That's not too bad so far. And then if I get rid of this like one little weed, and then try to face this way. I'm trying to be very specific with us. There we go. So it makes a little path. We go out and we just go this way. Isn't that cool? So let's pick up, this is softwood, and then this is hardwood, I think. So yeah, we got the user axe. We can't quite knock over a tree with this, as you can see. It's just not powerful enough, it's not sharp enough. But we'll keep working on it. Huh, my pockets are full already. Should I swap it or something? Don't swap it. So it is, oh, that's, wait. That's just normal wood. So there's hardwood, softwood, and normal wood. Oh, I should put the, the, the shirt down. Yeah, if we could get like a dresser or something, a bureau, that'd be cool. But at the moment, doesn't seem we quite have any of that. Hmm. Where was it? Oh, it was right here. Uh, place. Oh, I can hang it on the wall? I mean, that'd be great for saving space. Hang on wall. Oh, you can't hang things on tent walls. Okay. So let's back up again. Hold on, there we go. And place item. I like how it is on like a little stand though. <laughs> That's cool. I mean, I'm not super big into the shirt. Maybe we should just sell it. For right now though. As I am undecided, we will do that. What about the stuff that was on the floor before? It's still there, perfect. So I'll pick that up. And we can just go from tree to tree, just trying to figure some stuff out when it comes to collecting these different pieces of wood. It looks like each tree usually drops three types of wood. So we'll just try to get our three pieces and keep moving. I don't know if I wanna do this for every tree, but we might as well make the most of what we can. So, no, come on. Boop, boop, and boop. We'll do this for one more tree, and then we'll see what else we can get done. Well, I mean, I gotta set up the, uh, the museum, but I think that might be something I save for next episode. I was really hoping I could end up, uh, I was really hoping I could end up getting across the river to do that, but I might not have that opportunity. I just don't know, like this area feels a little crowded in my opinion. Anyways, it looks like the Tom Nook phone wants our attention. Nook Miles. What do we got going on? Rough Hoon. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. Island development is Nook Inc's goal. We need a lot of materials to make that happen. So we're giving away Nook Miles based on how much wood you've chopped from trees. So we already got 20. So as you can see, we get 300 Nook Miles, right? 1,700 already, very cool. And, was there more? Aha, uh -huh. hoard reward, put more furniture in your house. Nook Inc. will give you Nook Miles based on the number of indoor furniture items you have, so you're earning rewards for making your house a home. So we have five, that got us 300 more Nook Miles. And we're up to 2,000, very cool. And down this way, Nook Phone Life. Gotten used to your Nook Phone? Uh, the fact that you're reading this probably means you have. Keep using it and enjoy some Nook Miles just for getting more familiar with it. So that is gonna be another 300, so we're almost halfway there when it comes to affording our first little bit of debt. Um, we also have more stuff in the Critterpedia. Right over this way we have the common butterfly. And then that's it. Well, I didn't select it. Here we go. Very cool. Over this way, I know that we got, where was it? The sea butterfly. Very cool, so that's available all hours of the day, but only during certain months, and it's in the sea. And we also have the Isle of Flounder. Look at how big this guy is. Available at all times, all throughout the year. He's just, he's very extroverted, I suppose. And there's another fish in the water I can't quite do much with, because my inventory's too full. But I think we can make um, the watering can. That would be great, because that would help uh, speed up the growth of those flowers that we just got. But the thing I'm worried about is do we have enough space for it? Let me go ahead and sell one of the, the butterflies if we can. Um, I need to give you a brief, oh wait, oh yeah, what is this box? That is the recycle box for all the island residents to use. We'll be using it for items removed during construction and such. Yes, yes, if you see anything you feel like, feel free to take it right on home. If the box gets full, we'll get rid of the oldest items first, so don't delay in picking up what you want. Really? So cardboard box, tree branches. I won't take any of this right now, but that's cool to know. And then what is this about? This is like an ATM? Ah, I should give you a brief introduction to that terminal as well. That is our Nook Stop. It's a terminal for services that will further enhance your island life. At the moment, you can use two services, Zebra. The first is Nook Shopping. It's a catalog shopping service for items that can be hard to find on an island. 
Second is the terminal services as an automatic bell dispenser, an ABD, as uh, uh, for the Bank of Nook. We're also working on a service by which you'll be able to redeem Nook miles for various things. Please take advantage of these wonderful services. Quite beneficial indeed, yes, yes. Welcome to Nook Stop, a multimedia terminal from Nook Incorporated. Once per day, accessing the Nook Stop will award you a bonus daily miles. Day one, 50 bonus miles. Oh, nice. Please select from the following services. Nook Shopping, ABD, or sign off. Let's just take a peek at what we could be shopping for. So we have like outdoor table, utility sink, rain hat. So like different t-shirts. Oh, I love them. Cool pants, more shoes. KK Condor, I love that photo. Um, but I can't get it right now. I was really hoping that we could get something uh, to put our like clothes in or something, just like some kind of containment would be great. Let's sign off right now. And let's sell to you. Welcome Zebra, how can I help you today? I want to sell. So, I guess, I mean, yeah, here is our, no, that's the paper kite butterfly. We've already sold a yellow butterfly in the past. And I'm tempted just to sell the weeds. Like maybe we won't really need them very much right now. So let's just go ahead and confirm this. Hopefully that gets us a lot of money. Um, 550, not bad, I'll take it. And with that, oh, we got something in the Nook Miles. Uh, greedy Weeder. So, Nook Inc. salutes you for your beautification efforts. Nook Inc. rewards you with Nook Miles for selling weeds. Nook Inc. is quite generous now. All right, so we sold 50 weeds. Um, so as you can see, we get 300 miles. We're over halfway there to paying back our debt. And if there's one more thing I wanna do in today's episode, what should it be? It should be building that watering can. So we did a lot of building and, you know, uh, scavenging, foraging in today's episode. Flimsy watering can, we need five softwood, we have seven, so we can do this no problem. And everything's all built up. I made a flimsy watering can. All done for now. So that was a ton of fun. I do want to, no, I didn't wanna, oh my gosh. I don't have anything I want to sell right now, I'm sorry. But I do want to talk to you. Ah, oh, Zebra, hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all yours. So what should I do? I want to see what else he'll say. Uh, My good friend brothers, okay, yeah. So he still wants me to do that. That's something we'll do uh, in the next episode then. The only thing I'm worried about with that is that there's just not enough space in our current sector of the island, but I might just have to deal with it. That's fine, we'll make do with what we got. Um, but yeah, that was a ton of fun. Is the campfire I put on the ground still over here? Indeed it is. So I will grab that so that we can do more crafting later. But yeah, so much fun in today's episode. We were able to capture some fish, butterflies, seashells, craft some new items that we'll be using for even more of all that. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.